Why? I think it was like 5-4 or 5-3 to, to Kane. So let's see what's going to happen now. District G versus ELF. It doesn't say ELF, but I'll say it. ELF versus District G. Let's go. Names are switched as well. So wh one thing that Gosain's going to be trying to do is trying to force Kane and Trench to come in. Because, you know... Yoshi does have to take risks to open you up as a... Yeah, I've always said this. I play Kane and Trench quite a bit. And, and I don't really struggle as much as other people do because I know that Yoshi Mitsu does have to try to assert his offense. And it can be quite risky, especially using that full crack sweep. Kane and Trench's biggest strength is his whiff punishment, block punishment. And really his movement to force you into making mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, then it's going to be hard for him to open you up. <coughs> Here we go, goes for that uh, classic mix-up. Does it work? Here we go, a, a whiff. And Kane and Trench maximise oh. it. But the whiff! Sorry. Oh my god, that's dead! <gasps> go Sane with the flip kick out of nowhere! <coughs> Man, this stream is hella choppy, you know? It's actually like... <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what's going on. But nice sidestep and back to one. And again, that's just one of those things. If you overextend versus Kane and Trench, you're gonna you have to be ready to to get punished because this guy's punishment is so good. And go saying trying to go for a hail mary there flip doesn't quite work. One plus two throw not not hitting. And again, no um, overextension there from Kane, just waiting for his opportunity. One one to fix uh, to get the round. <coughs> so one round the piece right now. Kane and Trench versus Gosain. Goes for the flashy. Oh my god, that was sick. What a punish. I wonder if that would even punish... I mean, no, I guess that wouldn't punish the um, the follow-up. And the unbreakable throw. You have to duck that throw. Good stuff from Kane and Trench. A great punish with that flash. When you use Yoshimitsu, you need to know... What moves you can punish with a flash? And I think, you know, Kane and Trench is definitely one of them players. He knows exactly which moves he can punish. Because certain moves that are even safe, you can punish with flash. Because it's very, very quick. There we go. It looks like Gosain doesn't quite know what to do. Great block on the slide and a good combo here. Gosain having a bit of trouble here opening up Kane and Trench. Again, this is loser bracket as well. So the loser of this will be going home. He gets out of the wall with that. Poking, poking. He's got this wall that he's got this wall pressure now, but great low parry, and that's one thing Kane and Trench loves to do as well. He loves to go for those lows, uh, low parries. That's a twitch duck a lot. Goes for the shank and the low from the fly mix up. A great, great match there for Kane, looking quite comfortable. I think he's definitely going to stick. I don't think he plays all the cards at his level. Like kind of a it looks like Gosain was really unsure how to approach versus Yoshimitsu. You know, it can be a little bit scary because you don't want to overextend and get flashed. Or, you know, someone who's got such good punishment like Kane and Trench, it's always very scary going in on him. But, you know, there are certain things that Kane loves to do. He loves to twitch duck. He loves to... Um, to, to sort of sidestep and try to bait your whiffs. So you gotta, you gotta, you know, I don't know. I'd like to see a lot more um, hammer fist. There we go, that move there. I'd like to see more hammer fist. And as soon as I say it, like, it's like he's, he can hear me, you know. I think he's noticed that Kenan Trench does love to duck. And so using those those strong plus on block mids are gonna be a good option. Oh, nice. Catches him sidestepping. Down forward two. Can you take it to the wall? Oh, no. Drops the combo. Low high. Kane knew and he punishes. A great block on the slide as well. Okay, here we go. Down back three. Yeah, Down back three again. A lot of side walking coming in from Kane and Trench. No homing moves from Gosain so far. Oh my god, great duck. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Kane and Trench's ability to duck these lows. So scary. 15 seconds left on the clock now. Just dashing up and standing in his face. You gotta be careful. Oh no, doesn't let it rip! And that's gonna be dead! Oh no, he's not dead! But two seconds left. Oh! Ooh, you lucky, lucky boy, Kane. You lucky, lucky boy. So yeah, go saying not letting it rip. And another low parry, man. You gotta be careful using lows versus um, Kane and Trench. 
Okay, good hit confirm on the Wasani 1 2. Hammer fist again. Ooh, nice. Got some nice DSS there. Okay, rage drive gone. That was very good. Right in the booty. Okay, he's gonna shank him. No, he reverses it. UFC. Oh my god, that was a whiff. Good break on the 1 plus 2 throw. And another block on the slide. He's been blocking every single slide and getting a full combo from it. Nice Oki. Finally get a switch. Uh, get the name switch. Okay, down 4-3. Great duck! And the low to finish it. Good stuff. Kanan Trench really ready for this matchup. And there it is. Set point now for Kanan Trench. Again, like I said, loser bracket action here. So go saying we'll be going home if you can't take it. Great whiff punish. Kanan Trench looking super strong now. Another low parry, man. Another one. Another one. And there it is. Kanan Trench taking it over. Go saying 2 0. Go saying going home in. Um, with top 16, not a bad showing. Definitely um, doing well there. But Kanan Trench just one step ahead. You know, it was just the move choices. You know, a lot of um, low parries. And 